What's up, YouTube? So, Isa here again, um, coming at you guys with a really quick review. Um, this is Phoenix Artisan Aquatrimens, I believe. I believe I'm pronouncing it right. Um, it's their all-natural pomade. It's 95% organic. The part that's not, I guess, all-natural is, is their fragrance oils, but um, that's less than, like, 5% of the stuff. And um, it, it comes in a 4.75-ounce container, um, so it's bigger than most. It's about, I think it retails for, like, 18 75 ish plus shipping, I believe. I mean, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I will have the link down below. Um, this is the only scent right now, and it is identical to Pinod's uh, Clubman. And it smells really great. If you don't know, um, Clubman is just very classic, uh, like, barbershop scent. So, usually it has like a, like a side label, but this was like um, a couple of days before he released it. He sent me this over, um, so I could review it. And I did just, I was trying to film this before, but hold on. So, sorry, like I said, I was trying to film this before, but I got some inc inconsiderate people in my house, so. Um, let's get into it. Now, it's a pain to scoop. You just push as hard as you can, and it just crumbles out. But then after, as soon as you get it into your hand, super creamy, super creamy. Um, it's a lot creamier than I remember, honestly. Um, like, like other natural pomades that I'm sure you guys have seen, clumping. Even with my own all-natural brew, clumping is just... Clumping's hard to get rid of, even if when... You can get rid of most of it, but I don't think I've ever seen, um, any all-natural pomade that's completely gotten rid of their clumping. Uh, I did just get a haircut. So, sorry, I'm transitioning to subjects. Like I said, I'm trying to do a pretty quick review. But and now we have a tiny amount in here. Application is super smooth. Oh, there's a wax bead. I mean, it's not a big problem. Honestly, you just um, rub them out after. They usually end up on, on the on the back of your comb, anyways. I believe it's supposed to be a medium hold. Oh, and uh, also a new comb. Got that upper cut deluxe comb. Actually, got a shitload of them from Tadashi over at um, Hedgeline. So, if you guys aren't familiar with Tadashi, he is the owner and operator of Hedgeline.com, and that place is the shit, man. So, um, I've been in pretty close contact with him for a couple weeks now, and um, he's been really cool. Uh, hold on, I gotta just take this off. But he's been really cool. Um, he sent me a couple of pomades to review. I know he sent a couple of the other um, reviewers on EP, which is uh, everything pomade for those of you who don't know. He sent us uh, some stuff to review, and um, he sent uh, like Ruzel and the Cool Breeze line. But um, he sent out. He sent me a huge package of pomades for. To give away, actually, for the Grease and Grub in Southern California. And if you guys aren't familiar with that, again, it's a little part of uh, something on the Everything Pomade pages that um, Pomade enthusiasts, like most of you that watch these, um, are meeting up in Southern California. So I'll have the link down below to the groups, too, if you guys aren't a part of them or if you're a part of it. So it's like every, Everything Pomade is sort of like addicted to Pomade, which is... Um, Another pomade group that a lot more people are familiar with. So you know what guys, I think I might need a little more. Um, Cause it's just not holding and I actually haven't used a lot of this stuff. So, so not a big deal. Uh, like I said, just got a haircut so it's a little short. That's cool to grow it in a couple days and it'll be fine. Um, finally got down to uh, like a, a really good um, I don't know how to explain it. I'm talking about like when I go to my barber shop now, it's simply just a, the usual thing. Like I'm, I'm really happy that this happening because uh, it was for a while. Like I don't I don't go that often in my barber shop. I think I go like once a month, if that. Um. So yeah, I, I thought it was pretty cool, you know, that we finally got down to something where it's just like the usual. And I don't have to ask, I don't have to try to explain myself to a whole bunch of different barbers. Um, I'm 
really happy with the barbershop that I've built to. I've been going there for like a little over a year since I started wearing pomade. Um, I went to a couple shops after that and just didn't like them. Um, a lot of people giving like super new school cuts and it was just, it wasn't working for, for me. Uh, there was times where I've been into barbershops and asked them, you know, for a pompadour and they were like, oh, what? Probably a bad sign. Should have ran there. Okay, guys, I think I'm going to call it here. Um, it's a damn good pomade. I remember it being a little heavier. But like I said, I did try a couple different formulas. So, um, there you guys have it. That's Phoenix, Phoenix Artisan Aquatrimins. That word's fucking me up. Alright, guys. So, if you guys are wet shavers, you're familiar with him, or some of you guys that don't wet shave very avidly, um, the guy that owns PAA was, um, his name is Douglas Smythe. Um, he used to run How to Grow a Mustache. He still does podcasts under howtogrowamustache.com, I believe. But um, the store is now under um, Phoenix Artisan Aquatrimins. Never going to get that right. Okay, guys. So this is it. But you guys have a nice medium hold with a very classic scent. Till next time, guys. Stay greasy.